going on? Uh, it's like, you know, I've been telling people, man, I didn't realize there was such a thing as a gang stalker, but I knew of the gang stalkers before I knew of the word, the term gang stalker. And uh, what it is, man, it's like I seen this woman. She made a video. It's called Great Example of Gang Stalking. And all these people came by this woman in a car and they didn't know she was recording them. And she caught all these people acting so suspect, man. She's like, that's a dead end road. Watch this car come by four times. Why did it do that? And notice it's missing a hubcap. And this guy on a bike, he's doing these hand signs to someone else. Then other bicycle people come up. And I've seen this dude for a while, dude. Uh, it started happening to me when the Flinttown Stabber was around. That's when I first got into Kung Fu, man. And uh, I was kind of living on the wild, wild, wild side. And uh, so I kind of fit the profile. And I started noticing strange stuff just in, then I found out about gang stalking. and I was like, dang, that's exactly what happened to me when they would, while that guy was loose, motherfuckers was following me all the time. I don't know if it was people from the college, from the police, from the Homeland Security. I don't know who all these people was, but there was just people. And then there's, it's also called political stalking or cause stalking, like, like, say you're, you, you're the only Democrat who lives in a neighborhood of Republicans, and they would all join together and come and, like, do uh, weird stuff to intimidate you into turning into Republican, for instance. You know, uh, that's just one way that you could look at it. Or cause stalking, it's like, oh, what, you don't agree with global warming? So people drive by your house honking all night to make you move out of the neighborhood. That's, these are forms of gang stalking, cause stalking. Uh, not to mention right now we got all this weird homeland Jade Helm weirdness where they got army people, government people, police, regular citizens getting a undercover check, helping coordinate these drills, man, that they be doing with citizens. Like it's a multi-department F-L-E-C-T training. That's what that's called, man. It's, it's something to do with that too. And then fusion center where they fused all their intelligence together. And it's like, so <clears throat> it's crazy out here right now with uh, all this, you know, and then I, it's like uh, potentially I got hit with some kind of weaponry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which I was hoping that uh, was just the people I've seen on the internet that that happens to, but uh, I think it's legit. Then, I, you know, it's like they, they just beam someone, you know what I'm saying, I, from a helicopter. And then you got, like, they say uh, Paul Walker was droned, the Rolling Stones reporter got droned, or either that, their cars got jacked and they droned their cars and made them crash like that one woman that was supposed to testify uh, for something. I think it was the Washington, somebody died or something, she was going to testify, and then she died. Like, they, uh, the car just veered off and hit a telephone pole and they died. I mean, these strange things like this is related. So and th another thing, people that do this, it's corporations. Like, say you're you're got political activism against s someone how related to their corporation. They will pay a bunch of people to come and just give you a hard time, basically, it, and unless you shut up. So, I mean, these are ways that you can get under someone. And it's like any old people can do it. You just pay some people to do it. And they'll do it. Why not? Some people might like it and they'll do it for free. You know, uh, but I see that it kind of works almost like on a, it's either they got board meetings, like neighborhood watch meetings. Like that's a place where you could form one of these uh, pe type of people, people who play large card games. You know what I'm saying? Uh, th these people could uh, organize that way. Gangs already like biker gangs or even you got your, you know, your fraternities out here. That's a great place to uh initiate people into these crusades against uh you know bad citizens or whatever you whatever they however they brainwash them and rationalize them into thinking this way and uh it definitely has national socialist kkk uh this is what this is the same stuff the kkk used to do and i guess the fbi used to do it too to people during the cointel pro when the black panthers were back in the day and the indians like leonard peltier uh, so this is where this all stems from, comes from. It's really the KKK down in the South when, before, when slaves did, or when black people just got the right to vote and stuff like that. Like they were 
angry about it. So they would do car stalking, political stalking, gang stalking. And now in the technology age, they can get hackers. You got people in the police, in the military, in the government that are involved in the gang stalking. And then you got these offshoot corporations like how they uh, did MK Ultra, how they had it. They were experimenting over in Canada and in America. And uh, this is tied into it, too, because uh, the psychological operations, you got to break a, break the Manchurian, you know what I'm saying, basically, or something, whatever, they're Patsy or they're just experiment, they're lab rat. Uh, they just do it because they can. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, Joseph Mengele, the Nazis, the, you know what I'm saying? They like to experiment on people without them knowing about it. Uh you know, the Stasi police, the secret police, the Gestapo, they used all these tactics. Uh, so it's all related. And then, you know, now, uh, you know, like I, there's a tower everywhere around, like one of those blend towers. And I heard those things have uh, ground penetrating radar to, uh, uh, capabilities and uh, heart machine. That's that's legit. Like I said, I've seen the seen enough. uh people speak on it that i know it's legit just like cern is legit but what i just heard that is crazy legit is like cern and the all these other little mini cerns around the globe are all are all going at the same time and they never announced that because they've kept us looking over here at the cern while they got all these little machines busting off in different spots and that's uh kind of like trying to crack the ley lines or something man uh I know that's not related to gang stalking, but it could be because I heard during Mothman time and uh, I think it's in Indiana or over there in Kentucky or Virginia, but the uh, curse of Chief Cornstalk. But uh, they said that they see men in black come around there. Like, say you've seen Mothman and you reported it. A bunch of these government weird guys that look like vampires would come and ask you questions. Basically, I mean, uh, there's a, a video called Eyes of the Mothman, and that's pretty uh, deep and sane. But how that relates to gang stalking is that the men in black used to gang stalk people. And uh, they said they could jump jump walls, and uh, I think uh, they, they seen them do weird stuff like pop up out of nowhere. And I mean, so the alien uh, government cover-up Dulce uh, Roswell X-Files type uh, scenarios. Is, this stuff is all legit. And that's another way you get gang stalked. If you know something about the UFOs or something about uh, uh, space technology or you know what I'm saying? These are ways you can potentially get <laughs> gang stalked is because, uh, you, because you're just privy to something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they could just let you go so you can... Uh, Keep on uh, basically working for them just by living. Kind of like Bobby Fisher, man. They said he was just crazy, though he was kind of crazy the last thing I seen about him. But he was saying the CIA's got my room bug. I mean, the CIA probably did have his room bug. He was a fucking uh, multinational chess player. So that's a perfect person that could be a double agent spy. So, of course, they were watching him. But that shit will drive you crazy thinking that. Or uh, the, the, in that movie about Howard Hughes, it kind of showed how he went kind of woo, woo, woo. That's because he worked for the government. You work for go the government and you start to get feel like they're after you. It just it affects your behavior. You know what I'm saying? Just like when I see gang stalkers, it affects my behavior. I feel like I did something wrong. Why are you messing with me? You know what I'm saying? So it, it just it's not a pleasant feeling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, I can understand and sympathize with these people that may have it appeared to go be crazy. But really, maybe they were gaslighted and just facilitated and it fostered that. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's one of the reasons. Like, here's a good one. Arlington Road. That's a perfect one to show you how they patsy someone. And give them a soft form of mind control because this guy wasn't under the hypnosis. This guy was under uh, misdirection. You know what I'm saying? And uh, either way, it works. Whatever gets the job done, you could consider that mind control. If you dictated the actions and it happened the way you planned it, that's... And then, you know, it, just wondering about it will drive you or just give you anxiety as well. Wondering what, what are they doing? How are they doing it? That, just that psychological effect, just, it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, sometimes when I look at the machine, I'm like, this damn machine must be reading my mind. You know, I mean, I don't totally believe that, but sometimes I feel, I, you know, I feel uh, 
like, dang, this motherfucker knows me. It's like that movie Golden Eye. <laughs> but I don't know, man. It seems like all these things.